Hello, hello everyone. I am Shelly. I am a Chalk Couture designer and I am live. Welcome. Nice to see you here. Say hello. Say hi as you pop on. Okay, designer, just checking my sound. It sounds left. good. Go ahead and sprinkle away. You could be my next share winner. I'm going to go ahead and do the same. I am about a minute or so early, so just come on in. Hello, Missy. Are you? Can you hear me okay? Let me know if you can hear me. I am trying my air, my Bluetooth uh, earbuds. So we're trying those out today. Okay, good. I know some people can't hear me, so I just want to make sure that I'm coming in loud and clear. Let's wait for some more people to hop on. I'm a minute or so early. Hi, Christina. How are you? Hi, Ann. Can you hear me today? I am using my Bluetooth headphones. Hi Chelsea, welcome in. We are doing some unboxing. We're gonna finish unboxing our goodies. I am doing well. How are you, Anne? Thanks for asking. All right, let's give it another, let's say 45 seconds to a minute, and then we'll get started. We'll finish unboxing. Fun stuff coming. Lots of fun stuff. I hope everyone is doing well. It's Thursday. We're almost to the weekend. Almost there. Are you feel Oh, that's right. Are you feeling any better today, Anne? And good. I'm glad you can hear me. So these earphones might be what I need. All right. Hello, hello, my friends. I'm just going to clip this on here. I'm not going to put my other earbud in just so I could hear my surroundings in case I am called. <clears throat> All right, let's go ahead and start doing some more reveals here. Um, so, yesterday, if you were with me in the evening, we unboxed our A size and our B size transfers. Today we're gonna to do the C, D, and E's. Uh, we also, I showed you all the new colors of pastes and um, the only new color in inks was Dune and that was not available at the time that uh, the release came. So I haven't gotten that one yet, um, but that's coming. And then I showed you all the new surfaces that came out with the new release too. So. Lots of new stuff. I can't wait to play. Um, this is going to be a fun autumn and winter. I can't wait. 
Oh, well, good. I'm glad. Yeah, headaches are the worst. That's, that's not fun. All right, let's get started. So here are our C size. These are $24.99 retail. This one says, when witches go riding and black cats are seen, the moon laughs and whispers, tis near Halloween. The name of this one is Witches Go Riding. So this, ha this is kind of a neat one because you can just pick out certain elements of this transfer and just chalk those. Like this is one that I might consider buying a second copy of because then I would just, you know, I would just cut out this part with the witch and the word witches. I would maybe, you know, then cut it again and do the black cats with the cat. Um, this could be a fun one to kind of take pieces and parts out of. Next is one of my favorites. This is Halloween Phrases. So you got, hey pumpkin, boo. Could you, I mean, you could even say, hey boo. Um, happy haunting, trick or treat, eek, and this says spooky. These are super duper fun, and this is what we'll do after I unbox everything. And we're gonna do it on on our new five by five double sided box frame. So we'll do one of those designs on this. We can even do one on each side just to show you what it looks like on a dark or a dark finish or the light finish. So we'll set that aside. All right, so this is a fun one. We'll set this one aside because we're gonna do that one. Plus I have a class coming up um, in September and we picked that one as one of our designs to do. So this is gonna be fun. This one is called Beware. Again, pretty fun one. You could just do, pick out the couple little uh, elements from this one. You can even put this pumpkin in the middle of this frame or that, or your witch hat. It'd be cute to do three of these and just put them on your shelf. Um, Cause when you decorate, you should do three th ah, things in threes. I do too, Missy, I do too. Um, so that would be a good one. They're also kind of advertising this one as a small porch sign or even just a sign you can put up on a shelf. Um, so it's not as big as, a, as our typical porch leaners or uh, we call them signposts. This is just kind of like a mini version of a signpost. And then you, would, you could replace the A with the witch's hat. That would be cute. Same thing with either one of these. So that one's cute too. This one is called Making a List. And this Santa turns out so darn cute when he is made. He is a cutie. It's three layers. So you, get, you do the face layers. So the skin color comes first. You'll come in, let's see, no, this one's the first one which you would think the skin would come first, but this is first, that's second, and that's third. It says ho, 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 and then some little snowflakes. This will be fun to make. I, this would be cute on one of our door tags. So this whole thing would fit in this whole area. Then you could add a second door tag and do like a red and green um, buffalo check. That would be cute, so if you Totally painted it all green or all red and did the others, um, the pattern with the opposite color. Very cute tags this will make. All right, so that's making a list. Here we go. This one is hot cocoa. We belong together like hot cocoa and marshmallows. And if you have like a hot cocoa bar, this would be perfect. If you want to just say hot cocoa, have the little cup, you can kind of shimmy it to the center. That would be a cute sign all on its own. Okay, that's hot cocoa. This one is Noel, and this is a three layer transfer as well. Although it looks like it's four. Well, no, I guess you have because they split up these two. So it is three, three layers and it 
turns out beautifully and I bet the shimmers would be so, so awesome with this one. Again, perfect for those door tags. They really do take a lot of consideration into when they come up with a transfer, what surface it'll look good on. So I think it would look awesome on our door tags. Put a, you don't even need a second door tag for this one. If you just do the Noel, put a pretty bow, gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Hi, Jackie. Hello, Robin. Hi, Phyllis. How are you? All right, this one is... I got, my, I got to get my glass. I have to go to the eye doctor. I really do. I really do. This one is called Holiday Floral. I like this one, too. There was a smaller version we saw yesterday, um, but it's kind, it has the holly and some sprigs, and it has some Christmas flowers. This would look awesome if you did this in the regular paste and you did the flowers in the shimmers. That would be... Very striking. Again, these are all perfect. Any of these two-part uh, transfers, perfect for those door tags. This one is going to be a big hit. Um, now that you know youth sports have picked back up, I see teams practicing all over around me. Perfect for t-shirts. I really wish I had this one years ago when my kids were playing. Um, I would have definitely used basketball, soccer, baseball, not hockey, and not cheer, not football, but basketball, soccer, baseball. They need softball. They don't have that. I'll have to make a note of that and let them know that they should have had softball. But how awesome is that to make a t-shirt? Um, you can make little signs for the whole team. Uh, that would be really fun. That would be a lot of fun. But what the purpose that you would want to say basketball mom or soccer dad. And then you could put the ball underneath and make some really cute uh, apparel. Most valuable player. That would be cute for a sign for your child's room. This is a great transfer. This can be used a lot. The name of this one is Sports MVP. This one I have seen in action. I've seen another designer. She did a um, kind of like a draw a live event with this one. And these deer are adorable. So pretty. Now we had that little deer last year. It was an A-size transfer. How cute would that be to pair the big one with the small one? Like it's a, you know, a mother and a father. How adorable. I think that's what I'm going to do. So look forward to that one. This is called Winter Wishes Collection Deer. So it is a part of our chalk stories. Our chalk stories are a collection of different sizes of transfers that they put together that you can mix and match. And just you could come up with probably a hundred different ways of decorating with all of the transfers that come in one collection. All right, this one is called Just Like This. It says, love grows best in little houses, just like this. Very cute. Very cute. A couple little embellishment sprigs. This is a fun one to hang in your home. Make yourself at home. This is called Make Yourself at Home. <laughs> so that's a nice one. Or just use the word home. Make it simple and stunning. Simple and classic. All right, here is another one of our chalk stories. This is the Botanicals collection. This is called Heaven. And it says, Heaven is under our feet as well as over our heads. And then there's... Uh, you have Inspira Vivet or Vivet, and I'm not sure what this one is because it's covered. Let's see. Let's see if I can see it. Uh, Marathus, this, hmm, something like that. I don't know. But those are simple and beautiful 
Botanicals are going to be um, a big hit this year, they're saying, too, for decorating your home. And there are others in that collection. This one is Memories and Laughter. May our home overflow with warm memories and laughter. This would look great on our lumbar pillowcase. This would also look good on our, um, our new 6x18 frame like this or on our Odette 6x18. Perfect for those frames. And then bless this house. Endless Laundry Company. Endless Laundry. Wash and dry, fluff and fold. Open 24-7. Doesn't it sometimes feel like that? It does in my house. <laughs> it does in my house. This is blessed with this um, border. So you can just take the word blessed if you want and put it on a little sign. Or you can put that on something. And then I saw something yesterday that had something a, a like this. So they probably would go together. I'll have to find that one. This is called Blessed Frame. And I really love this one, you guys. So last year, I started... I. Like, I like to collect gingerbread at Christmas. That is my ultimate favorite Christmas decoration. And so I thought, well, I really don't have, like, yeah, everyone has pumpkins at fall. What can I do different? So I started trying to find acorns. Let me tell you, acorns are not easy to find. Hi, Chelsea. Thanks for joining. And um, so last year, I want to say, I think it was like the September Club Couture transfer, they came out with that acorn that said happy holidays. So that's when I was like, that's it. I'm going to collect uh, acorns. So I am so happy they came out with this one. And I will definitely be putting these acorns right smack dab in the middle of this for sure. For sure. This one's called summer collapsed into fall. So it says all of a sudden summer collapsed into fall. All right. This is called North Pole Bed and Breakfast. It says North Pole Bed and Breakfast, come in from the cold. Again, you could use that little deer with the other deer, right? You can always buy multiple transfers and use just pieces and parts from it. You don't have to use them as they are intended. Let's see, this one is called Goodwill to Men. So wild and sweet, the words repeat of peace on earth, goodwill to men. You could just do peace on earth. You don't need to do the rest of them if you don't want to. So I would just tape off the word of. You can go ahead and you could use that line. And then if you want to bring the line up there, you could do that. So many ways you can use this transfer. Or just say goodwill to men and make a sign that just says that. All right, this is We Did It Together. This one's um, interesting. This one can be also broken up in several different ways. Um, but it says, I'll read it to you. It, our life, our story. It isn't a fairy tale or a storybook, and it doesn't always come easy. Love is overcoming obstacles, facing challenges, fighting to be together, holding on and never letting go. It is a short word, easy to spell, difficult to define, and impossible to live without. Love is work, but most of all, love is realizing that every hour, every minute, every second of it was worth it because we did it together. What a I have goosebumps, you guys, reading this. So sweet. This says, home is where love resides, memories are created, friends always belong, and laughter never ends. This would be awesome on our new Bistro Spinning uh, board. So you could just put this section right in here. How perfect would that be just sitting up on a shelf? All right. 
So this, this is a great transfer. Again, you could just take this section and put it on a nine by 12 frame, uh, board. And that would be perfect. You, you don't need anything more than that. So this is, we did it together. This is, I'm gonna like, I'm gonna have fun with this one also. And then, oh my gosh, you guys, so happy about this one. What did I just say? I said, I love my gingerbreads, right? So I cannot wait. This is called Gingerbread House. These fit perfectly on our house cutouts. So if you go to the website, look at surfaces, and there's our white house cutouts. It's the same finish, right, of, as these. No frame to them. Um, but I can't wait to make a little village and have my little snow uh, or my gingerbread people around my village. So this one I'm looking forward to as well. I'm going to have so much fun. I'm telling you guys. I hope you guys have fun with me because this is this is good stuff. All right. Let's go ahead and dig out our D's. Lots of D's here. Okay. Try to get it in the screen there. This one I thought was interesting. I liked it because of the geometric. Okay. I will definitely be trying to play with this one. And I'm thinking their intentions was to, you know, you want to chalk this. And then you'll bring this sprig or this sprig. And you'll keep repeating that around the actual pattern here. But I thought, how cool would it be? Let's say, let's say you have three colors in a room, right? Let's say you have red, white, and blue, or you want to decorate for 4th of July or whatever patriotic holiday. So I would chalk it once in red. I would turn it a third of the way chalk it in white, turn it another third, and chalk it in blue. I think that would be really cool. So I'm going to try that with this one when I do make it. it I think it's a pretty neat uh, transfer. I probably won't even do any of this. I just, I'm going to just use this separately. So this one is called Geo Established Wreath. So there. So it has the word established. Okay, and it has numbers, so you can do a date. This is this is going to be an interesting one. I'm looking forward to that one. All right, this one. Look at that one. Look at all this detail. When you run your fingers on it, you can feel all the sections of this transfer. This one is called Great Adventure. So it says Adventure. Life was meant for good friends and great. Life was meant for good friends and great adventure, I guess. That's pretty cool. There's a little squirrel. You have a little, uh, help me out guys. What is that called? A blimp, an owl, you have a whale. So that's pretty neat. They have like the sky, the land and the water. That's pretty cool to think about that. Again, that's great adventure. All right, this is Winter Wishes Collection Trees. So this is a part of, like we had the fox. So this is the same collection. So you have these really cool woodland forest type looking trees. It says Warm Winter Wishes. You have, so you have three trees and then whatever that little swoosh is. So that would be a fun one. That'll create a cute little winter woodland look. This one is called Eclectic ABCs. If you have a teacher in your life, um, this would be awesome for a teacher. Do it all in primary colors, red, yellow, blue. And then if you want to add green, orange, and purple, that would be really cool. 
just kind of pick each letter and do a different color. That would look pretty striking and they would love that, especially an elementary teacher. This one is part of the Botanicals collection that we talked about. This one is called Lilac Beauty. So that is a lilac bush. Very pretty. And it says, if one advances confidently in the direction of his dreams and endeavors to live the life which he has imagined, he will meet with a success unexpected in common hours. That is by Henry David Thoreau. So that's very pretty. Very pretty, very soft, very delicate. Um, it's not your usual hard-lined transfer. This one will make an awesome pillow, you guys, for the fall. This is called Forest Leaves Pattern. Again, it would be kind of cool just to pick out, like here's, I don't, I don't know if that's supposed to be a leaf or an acorn. I might try to make that into an acorn or a pine cone, probably a pine cone. But you have a leaf, you have more leaves. I think this will be a pretty cool one. All right, this is, the next two are wreaths, and this is a winter wreath. So there's the five little sprigs, and then I imagine if you pick it up and turn it a little bit, then you'll fill in the other five spots to make a full wreath. You could do one layer in a dark green, and then the next layer in a light green, that will look pretty cool, I think. It comes with a bow, comes with a pine cone, and then some berries, and then of course some little pine sprigs there. And then the other one is this wreath. Hi Bridget, hi Cheryl. This one is autumn wreath. So the other one was called winter wreath. This is autumn wreath. So this one you could do in autumn colors as if the leaves are turning different colors. I would do reds and oranges and yellows. Oh, that would be really pretty. That would be really pretty. And then you could switch it out at the end of autumn and do your winter wreath. Although you're probably not gonna wanna erase it so you'll have to get another board. Those will fit great on our 18 inch um, Sylvie's. That would be really pretty. This is a favorite as well. This is called Christmas Sentiments. Again, this is like the Brave uh, transfer, the 18 inch D size transfer that we have where it had all the different little elements. It said Brave, it said Celebrate. Uh, this one, you could just take the word Joy or Peace. Here's a little, a smaller Noel. Look, you guys, perfect. It will fit perfectly in there, okay? Merry Christmas, you could do just this section right here on one of our six by 18 frames. Calm and bright, that would go great on a five by seven. This is a great one. This is probably a good one to buy a second one of and I, I have to make sure I write that down because I will definitely be cutting one up for sure. Okay, this one's fun. This one is called Kringle Cookie Company. Again, plays along with the whole gingerbread house look. I will definitely be having fun with this one for sure. Definitely, it looks like on mine, it part of the date didn't wash out when they processed it. So I'll have to, if I send them a picture and an email, they will replace this one, no problem. No questions asked. That one is called Kringle Cookie Company. This one is a bold statement and it just says family. Great on a pillow, great in just on a blackboard in white chalk. That will be awesome to hang in your family room. XOXO, the name of this one is Modern XOXO. So that would be a fun one just for Valentine's Day or any time. Great on a pillow. If you wanted to, you could just take like that XOXO and make 
just a cute little do it in pink or do it in red. Um, put a heart in the background and then put that XO on top. Lots of possibilities. Look at this fun one, right? It's skulls, you guys. Let me bring you in closer. Look at the little skull guys. Aren't those adorable? This one is called Skull Damask Pattern. So pretty fun for that one. Hello Autumn. I think that's what it's called. Yes. Hello Autumn. Gather here with grateful hearts, hay rides, bonfires, apple cider. You don't even need to do that wreath if you didn't want to. If you have a smaller round board, you could just do this sentiment. Um, it even probably would look good on an almond or like an almond shape or an oval shaped board. That would probably look pretty cool on that. So that's the last D size. Let's get our E size and then we'll play. Get him out here. Whew. They just get bigger and bigger. that one when we're done. All right, this one is our harvest, let's see, harvest signpost. So you get all the letters to spell out the word harvest. Okay, with some little flourishes on the bottom there. Little pumpkin you can add at the top or the bottom. Um, if you look at the website, they did, they have a sample photo with the pumpkin at the bottom. So very pretty. I will. I have a board all prepped and ready to use this one, so I will be making this one. This is called the most important work, and it says the most important work you will ever do was it is within the walls of your own home. Very nice. Very important sentiment. Or you could make it say the most important work you will ever do is within the walls or within and then bring the S over these walls and you can make that for a teacher and she can hang that up in the classroom. All right, we finally got a new alphabet font. This one is called Prudence, right? Yes, Prudence font. This looks just like a regular cursive. I like that. It's simple. It's not crazy fancy. Um, so I think that one will be fun. Here is another idea for a signpost, um, but it's a growth chart. So let me see. It is called growth chart. It says love grows here. You can even make this for your garden if you want to put it next to a plant and watch it grow. Um, but it's all perfectly spaced, and it goes up to six feet. And then it has registration marks on the top and bottom so that you match it up uh, just right so that all the markings stay correct. This is also a very fun one. Remember our pumpkin cutouts from last year? They are coming back, and they are now in our shop, so go snag them. They might be out of stock at the moment. I, I haven't looked yet today, um, but they're coming back, so don't worry about that. So make sure you snag some pumpkins. It comes two in a set. You get the large and the small pumpkin. And then they gave some faces to decorate your pumpkin. And then it says, Jack-O-Lanterns Shining Bright. And then what you would do is Get one of our 6x18 boards and pair it with our pumpkins and you have a great display. So this is called Jack-O-Lanterns. Again, don't forget, if you make any purchases on my website, you will be entered into a mystery hostess event that I have running right now. And the last transfer is Christmas Muffin Recipe. If you guys make Christmas muffins or if Grandma makes them, or Mrs. Claus, this would be fun to make. This would be awesome to put on one of our banners as well. Look how big that muffin is. 
so big. That is that is bigger than this, so it's probably about a five and a half by five and a half because this is five inches here. So it would not fit on one of those. Now it could fit on one of our old five by seven frames. You would probably have to do it upright. But how fun is that? You got a little zest of an orange. Here's an egg. We have a whisk. So fun, so fun, so fun. All right, that is it. You guys wanna make something? Let's make something. All right, let's fix this. There we go. All right, we're gonna bring this over. So this one again was called Halloween Phrases. We're gonna cut this up. All right, guys, now voting is open. Which saying would you like me to do? Hey, pumpkin, boo, happy hunting, trick or treat, spooky or eek. It's up to you. You tell me which one you want me to do. All right, vote now. And I will give it a few minutes and then we'll pick one of those to do. They're all so fun. Which one would you like me to do? Please comment. All right, Robin says, hey, pumpkin. We have one vote for hey, pumpkin. Does anybody else want something different? Any other votes? Don't be shy. Go ahead and let me know which one would you like me to do today. Christina says, hey, pumpkin. Anne says, all would be super. All right, so far, hey, pumpkin is in the lead. All right, I will start cutting this up. You guys keep voting. And I am just gonna cut them all apart so that I don't have to do it the next time. Oh, I'll start with Hey Pumpkin. There you go, Ann. That's the way to think. Because that frame has two sides, right? So we got to do something on the other side. Transfer trimmers are the absolute best ever. They will cut through anything with a sticky adhesive on it and they don't leave any adhesive behind. So that's a really nice feature. All right. All right, let's put these aside. I'll keep those together. Let's do Hey Pumpkin. So today, or yesterday, I um, I waxed this board, not this board, but the five by seven that I used, and it kind of peeled up a little bit when I did a second layer. So I'm gonna try not waxing it, and we're gonna experiment today. So we'll do it on this side. 
And we'll go ahead and get my fuzzing cloth here. Let's go ahead. I just rub my finger and it cut. Oops, you know what I didn't do? I didn't mark it, so let's mark it. A pumpkin. All right, let's put that aside. And we're gonna fuzz it. When we fuzz it, we are taking some of that adhesive. Uh, we're just kind of dulling it by picking up tiny little bits of lint from our fuzzing cloth. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and try to get it in this little square. We're going to kind of just shimmy all the edges here. All right, pressing it in, pressing it down and making sure there's no air bubbles. All right. Now, I think if I'm not mistaken, when they made the um, images for us it was they painted the background with our orange peel paste and then they did black on top if I remember correctly or it could have been another one of the other designs but they did a lot they did a lot of that painting first so maybe we could do that on the opposite side all right so here's hay pumpkin now I think I'm gonna use copper shimmer and then probably keep it pretty classic and try to find my orange peel here. Actually, not sure where my pumpkin peel is, so we're gonna go with pumpkin, which is a retired color. I d we didn't come out with any new oranges, I don't think. We have this really pretty rosewood, um, but that's not really I guess we could do the pumpkin in the copper shimmer. We could do that, and then we'll do the rosewood with the words, hey, pumpkin. We'll, dry, we'll try that. So let's get these open. Get a multi-tool for our rosewood and stir it up. You want it to be a nice, silky, smooth, creamy, however you want to describe it, consistency. Okay, so just kind of keep working it. And I like it to drizzle off of my multi-tool. So I am going to add a squirt of bottled water. This is our mister. And I just added bottled water in there. You could use filtered water from your refrigerator or distilled water. They just suggest you don't use tap water because of the iron and the minerals in type tap water, they, uh, they just don't agree with our organic materials. All right, let's get this nice and creamy here. It's kind of like uh, sour cream after sour cream is stirred. Not too thin, but it's very workable. There goes my sign behind me. All right. Let's go ahead and get some small squeegees here. All right. Let's get a mini and another mini. There we go. Okay, let's start with our shimmer because our shimmers take longer to dry, so it's not a problem leaving it on my transfer a little longer than normal. And all I'm doing is pushing it through that silk screen design using a, you know, a medium pressure, nothing crazy. I'm not really pressing down too hard. All right, we'll put the excess back in our jar. 
Then we'll go over it again and make sure we have all the excess off because we don't want to waste it. Okay, make sure there's no lines. There we go. Just seems like it's a little light in the middle there, so I'm going over that again. All right, now we'll do Hey Pumpkin. What a pretty color this rosewood is. This could definitely be used as a fall color for sure. All right, so pretty. Again, wherever I see that white design, that's where my silk screen mesh is. And all you wanna do is just pass it over that. And when you apply pressure, it forces your paste to go through the mesh and then it ends up on your surface. Okay, we'll just go over it and get our excess off. All right, so pretty. I really like that color, you guys, it's very pretty. All right, now let's fill this up. And voila, there it is. What do you guys think? I think that looks very nice too with the uh, color of our wood here. Very pretty. Let's go ahead and dry that up. Now remember, I did not uh, wax it. And I feel like I got a better um, adhesion of the paste this time. So like I said, it's more trial and error. You'll, you'll see how comfortable you'll get using wax or not using wax. That's really pretty, you guys. It's your not not your typical um, Halloween colors, you know, bright orange. Thanks, Anne. All right. I think that's really cute. All right, let's turn it over. And what's nice is the frame, I could lay it on that side and I'm not gonna ruin the surface or what I just did. So that's kind of nice. I am gonna do, oh, let's see, which one do I wanna do? Let's do, all right, we're gonna try something here. We are gonna try we're going to take our black shadow, which is our shimmer shadow, I should say, which is our black shimmer. Do you see the little shimmers in there, you guys? All those little, it looks like little crystals or diamonds. We're going to paint just the inside black. So let me find my foam brushes. It's too big. We'll use this one. And I've never really watered down um, shimmer paste. I don't know if I should or not, but we're going to just try without it. See what we get here. Okay, and we're just going to, ooh, that spread's really nice. We're just going to paint the inside here. I am going to come up because it's too hard to try to not to hit those sides. So I usually paint the inside of my frames when I do this. Okay, we'll get more paste. This is going to be pretty cool, you guys. Okay, I'm going to turn it so I can see what I'm doing here. Hopefully you guys can see. All right, we're 
getting there. Almost done. Got to make sure I get all those corners and edges. Sorry, bringing it close to me here. Let's get this edge. All right. Checking to make sure I don't have any missed spots. Make sure I don't have any um, areas where there's a ton of paste left behind. All right, I think it's good. Checking all those edges. I got a little corner that doesn't want to be covered. There we go. Oops, here's another corner. Get in there. Get in there. All right, I think we're good. Gonna add a little more in here so that it's not doesn't look too splotchy. Although that is kind of what gives it that paint brushed look. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and dry this, and then I'll use my white shimmer frost. Remember, the shimmers take a little bit longer to dry. So we'll have to make sure this is really good and dry before we move on. And when you dry it, the shimmers really start to pop out. This is so pretty, you guys. Can you see the shimmers? How they pop out like that once they dry? Hi Lisa, hi Crystal. Alright, I think we're good. Alright, and now let's go ahead and fuzz. Did it drop? Let's go ahead and fuzz our transfer. All right, we just run the finger on the edge. And take that off. All right, let's give that a couple fuzzes. This also gives the board a chance to cool down because it's pretty warm from the air, the heat tool. Let's let it cool down. All right, and then we're gonna stick him right in the middle, hopefully. it down, make sure there's no air bubbles or lines or folds. It might be a little crooked, so I'm going to try to adjust. Some fonts are meant to be crooked, I think, but others are not. So we're going to try to make this upright here. All right, looks good to me. Again, just make sure I rub it down, make sure all of anything that's green, you want that uh, to adhere down. Hi, Mary. Oh, better late than never. Welcome, welcome. We are just finishing up our last little 
project here. We went through our C, D, and E size transfers, so you'll have to take a peek at that. Um, come back and do the replay. We made this a few minutes ago. It says, hey, pumpkin. And then, and I have it sideways, but no big deal. No one's going to see the backside. But we're going to use our shimmer frost, and we painted the board with our shimmer shadow. So it's shimmer on shimmer. And we are just going over the design with our shimmer paste. I'll put some of my excess back in the jar. Let's go over that. Get your excess, put it back in your jar, save it for your next fun project. Come across. This would be pretty um, for Christmas designs as well. For when you're making um, maybe a dove, that would be really pretty. All right, ready guys? So fun. Look at that. Very cute. Very cute. I love it. Let's give it a little dry. The shimmer on shimmer, I like. The bright white would have looked nice as well, but I do like the shimmer frost a lot. That is it. So we have the boo. See if I can catch that shimmer in the light. So pretty. And then we did Hey Pumpkin. We used our copper shimmer on the pumpkin. Let's see if I can catch the light just right. It doesn't want to catch it. Thank you, Anne. So that was that. That Those two designs alone were part of our C-size transfer called Halloween Phrases, which I believe are going to be a great big hit this fall. And we used our 5x5 five five, um, double-sided box frame. It has a brand new finish on it, a new stain, because the old stain was our dark wood. So they changed all our stain colors up and went a little bit lighter. So that's what's on that one. Um, we used a couple new colors. And we had fun, right? I hope you guys had fun today. I hope you did. Does anybody have any questions? Again, this board does say to wax before and that it's a one-time use. Um, I probably will not be removing that, so I'm okay with that. Uh, the only advantage I think to using the wax is if you make a mistake, it lessens the chance that you're gonna stain the whitewashed finish side or the um, stained wood side. And when I took off yesterday after I, after I went live, that was bothering me that the middle leaf was peeling up a little bit. So I erased that whole middle leaf and it came up totally clean. It didn't stain any of it. Um, if I tried to probably take this off, it might leave a little stain or a little ghosting. And that probably would be okay only because you're going to go right back over it and redo it. Um, so it really wouldn't be a big deal. So I do find that being one advantage with the whole staining and the coming off really easy part. Um, they also say it helps with the releasing of your transfers, especially if it's not one of our wooden surfaces. You want to be really, really careful. And uh, if you find that your wood is not really sanded very smoothly um, or has like a lot of lines and divots, if it's a real natural wood surface, then yes, I would say wax it uh, because that will tear your transfer up. But so like I said, it's trial and error. You kind of got to play with it and see what works for you. All right. So 
any orders placed from July 15th till the end of this month, so July 31st, are automatically entered into my mystery hostess event that I have going on. Um, there is an event for it in our events tab. So if you want to read a little more information, like if you're a new Club Couture member, you get your earn entries. If you um, buy a Try Me kit, you earn entries. Can you chalk the frame itself, like the Halloween patterns? Yes, yes you can. Like I could, um, if that was, I don't think that's wide enough, but let's say I wanted to use that pattern all the way around, I could most certainly do that, yes. Because it's just like, this is, it's the same thing. I chalked on, this was the actual, un, the stained wood side, and I painted it with our black shimmer shadow. Lots of shush, shush, shush. A lot of SH. Um, so yeah, you can go ahead. I could, if I wanted to, go ahead and chalk this if I wanted to. This I would probably wax because if I didn't like it or if I made a mistake, then I could probably get it off a lot easier than if I didn't wax it. But yes, Mary, you can certainly chalk any, you can chalk anything you'd like. Honestly, um, I've chalked can't plastic candles. I've chalked, I'm trying to think what I've chalked. Um, I mean, I've chalked, I turn everything into a chalkboard. So if I find an old tin surface, I've sprayed it with chalk paint and then I've chalked on that. I mean, you could, you could chalk on anything. You can chalk on your mirrors. You can chalk on your doors, on your walls, on your floors. Uh, people are chalking on their stainless steel refrigerators and ovens and microwaves. Um, and they say it comes right off. So I haven't gone that far. I'm not, I have not done that yet. I don't think, I think my husband would kill me if I did that. But yeah, you could chalk on anything you like, anything at all. So, all right, guys, anything else? Give me a holler. I appreciate you spending part of your afternoon with me today. It's Thursday. We're almost to the weekend. Yeehaw. Uh, if you need anything, you know how to find me, I hope. And um, I'll see you tomorrow is Friday. So tomorrow we'll be here at 4, 4 o'clock. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you again. I appreciate your support. Bye.